now arriving at Enix. Initiating match. Alrighty, welcome back. Uh, first game on Elios. Um, I don't quite know what this map is called in particular, but Elios Ruin. Uh, but it should be Lijong. In a nice little. Uh, we're gonna get a pause here real quick just to figure it out. This is match three. Yeah, I think we are on Elios. I but I also think they're wrong because I think theirs was a mandatory reschedule. But we're about to find out. Um, Pacific Frontier. Uh, which game is this? St. Ambrose. This is supposed to be match two. So we should be on Ilios right now. We should be, yeah. We should be on Ilios. Oh, are they... Is it listed as something else for us? Uh, it's listed as match two for us. And our other game was listed as match three. So. Technical difficulties here, folks. Give it a, give us a quick second, folks. Okay, so we're back. Um, we should be on Ilios, that is correct. Um, there was a bit of confusion yesterday with a lot of reschedules coming out with Three, map two, two, match two one, maps being played second one, for some reason, or third for some reason, out of a three game series, which confused both our Slate team and our, apparently our Crimson team. And Crimson did play the wrong maps yesterday, so we'll see if that leads to anything. But, we're on Ilios Ruin here, we see a rather heavy brawl comp coming out for uh, WCU Princeton here. Uh, we do see the first pick coming from the side of Wayne, or St. Ambrose, sorry, as they do find uh, Goose as well as the Jarshan and Zero. So it's coming back right now. Mega Saga dead. Alrighty. It looks like that'll be a full reset for WCU. What a scrappy fight at the start, honestly. Do see Goose taking a hug right here. Oh, dropping down. Looks like St. Ambrose is holding that corner right here. Getting pretty good damage right off the bat off the Titan. Seems like they're being pretty bad. We do see Zarya though forcing those at 100% charge almost by the entire game. And we will see Titan go down here. Titan down. A reset trying to happen, but we do find a grab and the ammo goes down, and that will just be a team wipe for them. For, in favor of St. Ambrose. So. see you having a hard time getting to the point. My ultimate is charging. Looks like we might see another ring right at that corner. Again. You see three alts on the side of St. Ambrose with also the almost same 
a DPS and both support alts also on the side of WCU. Uh, we see Window coming out for WCU, but they do find boost really quickly. We also see Blade coming out from Medusaka, as well as Beat uh, from the side of St. Ambrose. It's now a 1v1 in the back as the Zarya finds the other Zarya, and this is just another full reset for WCU. We gotta get it. They're just gonna go hold him and spawn. And not even get a down. chance to get to point. Titan going ball. And trying to make it to the game, point. Or map, or point one on Ilios. Point one on Ilios. Uh, kind of a full hold right there, but I'm hoping that the uh, the team can definitely get by on the second one. Maybe it might be hoping it swells. I do feel a bad, a bit bad for WC Crimson here as they came to this map match expecting. Li Zhang to be map one because of the miscommunication yesterday, but they also had the practice yesterday on all the maps they'll be playing today, so let's hope that what they saw yesterday and how they played yesterday will hopefully change up how they play today on these five maps. And I'm, I do like the, uh, the Arisa pick on for Titan. I think that might do them well, especially maybe more of a poke comp. Maybe we might kind of see this as a brawl, perhaps. Um, Arisa's still in that weird little area where everyone's trying to figure her out. Teleport on the point. It does look like Sam Amber is running a dive comp. They do hit a nasty purple, finding almost everyone on uh, WC Princess team. That bubble got shredded off of a monkey. And it does seem neat every time they try and get in there, they're getting shredded. It does look like Zara's symmetry is doing well to keep that out. And just to reiterate something I mentioned yesterday, this is also the first week where Kiriko is allowed to be played in the NECC. And Bastion and Torbjorn are still banned. Two very powerful quick damage heroes. As well as a very good support if you properly. You see Primal Pop here. Oh, primal face Find, tanking all not of that finding damage. anyone. Zero just eliminates the primal right out the gate. Big purple though on the team, but it doesn't seem like that did any. With the Ana hitting the massive purple, I wonder if we might see a swap to Kirko in the future maps. But we'll see. Might not be a good idea if that uh, Anna. Might be a good idea if that Anna yeah. and her purples. So. It does seem like our team has a solid stance on uh, on this plan. Mm -hmm. Ammo coming out on WCU. We do see WCU Vincent again, as Ooh. I mentioned yesterday. Yeah. Even though I love to be the of all our teams, they are struggling against this new Sombra. They have almost every time have lost one or two people just for the quick hack in the back and they hack down. We need to swap back to Zarya for um for Saint Saint Ambrose. Ambrose. Such a mouthful of a name to say. Yep. My real power is Ambrose from here on out. But we do yep. see Ambrose taking point here. Uh great fight, all in all, honestly. Um we might do. We might see WCU trying to engage with that portal again. Go we'll try and get on a point. I think we actually might go for a bit of a poke here, <coughs> I, but I'm not sure if the alt tracking has been the best side of WCU as St. Ambrose is about to have all five alts online compared to just Beat and Blade coming from uh, WCU at the moment. <laughs> There goes a nano blade right into everyone else. That uh, does force out ammo here. That forces out ammo, but does not find anyone. We do. We are seeing. And we also saw B well. come out from and from St. Ambrose. That really? We lost. They also popped B. Uh, Grab and EMP are still on the table, but Titan is going to push in. Titan charging in. Ooh, he does Titan find. Him. He finds no one, but. They do get a. Uh, they do force out that was shatter. a big grab in, on the side of uh, St. Ambrose. Sponge is uh, having nostalgia from his old Overwatch one day where he <laughs> was constantly hitting the fat shatters for WC Oh, big. Big spear. We also see a big purple here, though, and that does that is send down Titan. This is just a back and forth at this yep. point. We did claim point there though, which I did not realize, which 
gave us a few extra percent, so hopefully that gives us a little upper edge in this next fight. You see Meg kind of poking here. Trying to build up that old charge as, much, as best as he can. WCU going up top. You see the portal getting them on Ooh. top. And it does look like Titan was going to try and jump through that window. But he does not <laughs> get through. Oh, wow. WCU is you on You see point. EMP come out. Uh, RE0 down. Uh, we do see the ammo field also come out. And we see Titan is now hacked. And it's going to be a push fight for point here. We do see a massive boop Ooh, Meg, come out Meg. for uh, St. Ambrose there. Finding three. With the Lucio the only one to able to recover, but it's not enough to win the map. That was a great fight from WCU, on, especially on that second point with all the back and forths that we did. But St. Ambrose did have a relatively better autonomy, relatively better use of it. Uh, and learn yeah. from their mistakes. And the next map we'll see after a short break after this play of the game will be Midtown. So we'll catch you in a few. Alrighty, welcome back. We're on Midtown now. One of the newer maps. I'm kind of excited to see how, uh, how our team deals with, uh, with Ambrose on defense. As you saw yesterday, WC Slate had an interesting strategy on this map. Essentially avoiding the entire choke of first point and going straight at the point out of spawn through some alleys. We'll see if... Crimson might do the same, or if they're just going to try and fight the choke under uh, training. Looking like we're seeing the same from WCU on second point, and the same from Ambrose. Which, I do kind of like to see that little bit more variety. I poke at least a comp that WCU's gone in. Ambrose has switched up one of their idea. heroes, though. They are running the Reaper now instead of the Sombra, something they were running on point two of Ilios. We'll see if that Reaper uh, gets some good usage on here. You see, Swaggy Fist trying to get up there, but he's... See, that that would be a really good idea, to hold yeah. up there and you can just drop. Yep. Swaggy does find a good spot up here. A spot that our Ana might have been good to hold, but we'll see what happens on the side of a WCU. Uh, they're trying to just push that high ground right out the back, getting the TP up. Oh, we they're going straight for the fight and train. Looks like we're forcing train right now. Uh, the spear gets blocked by bubble. But we do knock the Reaper off, forcing him to try and get a big reach there. Uh, we do get a back piece of both field coming out, saving Titan here. But it does look like Titan will go down to the Reaper. And this will be a team wipe, I think, in favor of Ambrose again. Nearly a team wipe, yep. though. It does seem like they only got the Titan Reaper. and Mag, forcing the rest of our team to come out. Goose is hiding, trying to potentially get some... Uh, Good positioning. Good positioning here, yeah. Also, so he doesn't have to completely go back and reset with his team. Uh, we see oh, a looks TP. Like we're They're getting an wow. interesting TP up into the point of bomb. Really brave. Right. They actually get everyone through something that has been a struggle with just one tank in Overwatch 2. 
the fight point right now. You do see Titan go down again. They do find the Emo Field as well as taking out Mega Soccer and Goose. And this is just going to be a team wipe for Ambrose. It is a team wipe for Ambrose. Ambrose's defense is just white hot right now. Yeah. You see a switch off of the sim to a uh, Sojourn. Another new hero for uh, Overwatch 2. You do see a switch back to Zarya. Yeah. That might not. That might be a pretty good idea with all the close quarters in train if you definitely want to find Grab comes out. And they do find the ammo field, but they don't get a pick from it. They only find the ammo field, but. And we also find the ammo field, but. The Zarya takes out the Zarya. We do see Genji taking out the Sojourn. So it is still a 4v4 here, but one side is down a tank while the other side is only down a DPS. Uh, we see four alts on the side of Ambrose here and only two really close on the side of uh, WCU. Uh, coming out here soon, he might pop it and... Yep. Ammo, you see Reaper out. come out and fight Big. Ev oh. almost everyone except Sojourn. And Zero's on a run, but gets very quickly picked off here. Big ult. And that was the only ult used for Ambrose in that fight. So, very good ult usage there, as well as my co-caster Sponge said. Very good ult usage. We do see we do see three ults on our side. They did use B on, um, on WCU, so hopefully... Uh, build that up. Back might back. be an interesting alt combo coming out here. As we will see, um, they do find everyone and they pop beat as well as window. Um, and Jarkshin's trying to get out here, but he is found and that is a reset. That is a reset on WC. This is just a painful, painful thing to watch here as... WCU, our Crimson, our best team, just is struggling to even get a lick of points. Trying to go through left to choke. Looks to grab on both sides here. Uh, going straight for the team. Grab. They find the Lucio, but Emo Field does get picked, and it's another team wipe. Another team wipe against WCU here. And they're just going to hold right up front so no one can get through. And that will be the attack of WCU on Midtown. All looks like they need it. All they need is one tick now. And you need a really good, very, very good defense. Which I'm hoping, you know, that the team kind of came today and pra maybe practiced Midtown, hopefully, and kind of maybe learned on. How to do some defense on this map. I will say, it definitely, it seems very hard to fight against, like, to fight defense on train or just anywhere in this choke because it's so, yep. it's so close quarters and without, you know, like, like what we saw with Arisa, it definitely seemed like Titan was having a bit of trouble there, but hopefully... We see a Reinhardt coming out for Ambrose here as they're just gonna go straight in here. They're getting ready to rumble. It does look like they might take the strategy that uh, WCU Slate took where they are gonna go through the alley just ignoring all of Choked entirely and just speed on the point. Let's hope that WCU Crimson uh, has a plan for this as they're all gearing up in train ready to hold this Choke. The eye will not and it fade. looks like this the this might be a little flinch. If they don't realize this might be coming, this might be a little too late for Five, WCU four, to even three, try and two, fight this point now. One. Attackers incoming. Defend objective A. We do see them going alleyway. Hopefully the boys do know. Boys and girl do know that. Yeah. Hey, they're going down there. But this, it does not look like they do, and this is just going to be... Oh, they do. Oh, they, they do. They, they realize. It's coming, but we do see the speed of point, and it's now just a fight on point for the game here, for this map, actually. Very scrappy fight, everybody. Let's say, uh, Spread no out. one is dead yet. We do see Ooh. Immo come out, uh, and Goose does find the Immo field. Zero finds the Sojourn, and now it is a 3v5 on point. Shield is down. 
we do find hit on Goose. Yep, and, but they do find the Reinhardt. But the Reaper finds both heals. And now it is a scrap fight on point, and that's gonna be game unless Zero can hold it here. That is map two going to St. Ambrose. Again, very scrappy fight. Yep. Um, I definitely think we... We got this. <laughs> we'll see play of the game here coming from Agent MM on St. Ambrose side with the Reaper. This is gonna be that five man Reaper in or four man Reaper into plane leading to the just decimation of Zero here. And we'll catch you back after this short break, and we will be on Circuit Royale for the last map of tonight. Or for the third map of tonight. Gotta be hopeful. Alrighty, Circuit Royale. We did take defense on this one. Uh, we did see a, we do see a swap from uh, Titan on this map to Nona for tank. Uh, no other switches. Uh, do we have any other switches for Ambrose? I do not think they did a sub at all. I think that they only have one sub or that might be their coach just in the spectating room. But they only had one player, so no subs coming out for... We do see the we see the widow coming out on attack and on defense here. Uh, something we saw last night as well with WCU Slate versus NAU Gold. Yeah, this is who we played on this map. And it looks like it will can't guarantee it 100, percent but I am assuming we will see a widow placement on that cafe, and it will be widow against widow for this fight here. Zara's Widow is definitely definitely a, a tricky one to play against here, so we do see them taking the high ground, which And it does not look like they're holding cafe as Zarya or Zero, sorry, is down just the middle of the street. Ready with a headshot trained, it looks like. Everybody's coming outside. Yep. Trying to gain information on there. The immediate push up to Cafe here, making Zero's Widow practically useless in this fight. Zero is not moving, so I wonder if Zero is frozen here. And Zero Zero's just down. goes down. I don't know if that's a if that's a freeze on the side of WCU or if Zero just... There's the pause. We're in the middle of a fight, so we cannot pause. Okay. We'll fight see what happens there. here. I'm pretty sure that was a freeze on Zero's part. And we'll see how this goes at this point, as that was... Ambrose's tank really did um, just go up and took space, and that was that was very uh, powerful, considering that, you know, they got that point all the way, but I do think Zero's uh, freezing has obviously something to do with it. Zero's, yeah, I was about to say, Zero just stood still for... The entire push of that until the sojourn just took her out right out the gate so we'll see if we can get a nice recontest here with zero back in the game but 
Uh, it does look like we are still frozen at this point, as there has been no unpause. There was a kill on Goose at the end there. I just noticed that. Yeah, there was a rock into <laughs> Goose's head here. Uh, that's about all we see at the moment. We will see Barrier about to come back online uh, for Nona here. Uh, at this point, it's the team WCU just has to pull out and regroup and hopefully uh you know nona and the team can definitely go ahead and just take that space away from them for sure for sure it would definitely be i think it would be beneficial if it was at this corner specifically or at this bend specifically but we'd have to see It is interesting, though, to see how, you know, both teams picked a Widow and a Sojourn for this map. Yep. Well, Widow, yep. Sojourn, and Sigma for this map. Yep, and we are coming back in. Zero is unfrozen here. Uh, Nona is up by himself, if I'm not mistaken, with that goose being picked. I don't know what Nona's idea is here. He is trying to find that Sigma, but he's not getting any support from behind him yet. We do see the Orb of Harmony coming in for Majarshan. Rock Lance, wow. Yep, and it looks like Sigma will go down here Sigma will for down. Ambrose. And this might be a very strong hold here for What a stagger. You. Uh, they do not find it, and it does look like we might lose our Sigma as well, as Nona is very low on health, but trying to get that Orb of Harmony. I don't know where our BAP is trying to... Okay, there we go. BAP has now find, found Nona. And is now healing him. Uh, Goose. Zero does find the Widow very quickly and picks her off. Zara nearly goes down there. Or no, Meg, sorry. Oh, that was Meg Usaka that went down. Zero is still sniping here, just trying to get some Taking the high ground. cheap shots on top of... Uh, we do see Sigma grab come out, finding Nona. And Nona gets stunned here, and this is back into almost a Sigma 1v1. Nona might go down, but Nona goes Nona down. Nona does go down, and the Widow does find Zero as well. And this is going to be a strong reset for WCU. Hopefully Goose does not get picked here. This is a hard stagger as well. Goose does Very get picked, and that's stagger. a big stagger on the side of WCU here. And this might just be point. Uh, Ambrose really pushing up here. Basically right into a uh, WCU swamp. Yeah. Uh, see Nona having flux here as well as Zero having wall hacks at this point. Uh, we're about to see five ults. Yeah, all five ults. We see wall hack come out from Zero. And there goes flux finding the three of them. And they do wow. find the... Lucio before he can get enough for B to hit it. And this is going to be a push back for uh, WCU. As they get a team kill out of this, I think. Nope. Nearly yeah. a team kill. Nearly a team kill. There's one person just hiding there. Uh, is that their widow? That is their widow. And she's trying to get out. Desperately trying to run. Away. No one can hide. She is good. She also pops her wall hacks. Ready to go here. Uh, and we see a fight come up here. Um, it's two alts to three, to three alts at the moment. We'll see if, uh, Megusaka can make some plays with over, overclock. Uh, we see Heinz get nanoed and is also popping overclock. This might be a big kill for Heinz here, if he can find him. And we are about to see grab on the side of St. Ambrose as well. The only thing... Only two support alts remain, er, a support alt remains for WCU, as well as Flux and Beat on the side of St. Ambrose. We do see a swap to Zarya. Four minutes coming into this last point on defense for St. Ambrose to just try and push this card the rest of the way. Let's hope we can get a strong hold here. We do see Zara still on the Widow. Uh, for this last point, playing it last night as Widow, I don't really like Widow on this last point. Nona had to go tank, especially for that Widow. Yep. And he swapped to D.Va, actually. He did do a quick swap to Zarya, but immediately 
guys against that Swiss Zarya or Diva here. Ambrose holding that high ground pretty well, actually, too. Rock comes out. Rock does hit. In the bathroom. Yep, and Nona does in by himself. Uh, it does look like he might get G Max here if we don't get a good deal. Nope, he gets out. Megusock comes in with that May and Icicles off to fully heal. And Megu went in by himself there, Meg goes down. which is not ideal in this situation where there's three minutes left to push this cart. And it is now a 4v5 for a couple seconds here. Megu is back on line. Uh, we do see Zero still on the Widow, trying to get some use out of it, but uh, not really finding clear lines of sight here. Diva self destruct coming out. Do. Ooh, that but could be we big. see the wall, the oh. shield come out. But oh, they, he, he does find the Ash and the Lucio with a rematch. And Sigma is walled off. So this will be Sigma going down here. That is what WCU needs here. They just need to hold this point. Uh, Nona is going out Anna? into their spawn trying to get an Anna stagger, but it doesn't lead anywhere. Interesting choice that we see coming out here as Sewer or Swear or however you Sayer? pronounce that name no one can has chosen to give up their alt in exchange for a swap to Zarya here. Did you see that entire team wall off? They do get through the wall. Zarya's already at high charge here. And this is detrimental as they do find boost. Megusaka does throw off Blizzard. Uh, we do see a Ooh. freeze, but we also see Beat coming into it, saving almost their entire team. We see a sleep on Nona. Nona does go down oh, very effect. quickly. And now it is a 1v4 on this final push to point. At least for a couple seconds. Uh, still no swap to any stall here, which I find interesting. Is that's one of Nona's biggest strong just stalling with heroes. Uh, you see Trans come out here with a great stall. Zero does go down. We'll probably see a swap to Tracy here if I had to guess. Goose might swap Lucio here. Sorry, a charging in stall. just to get. Uh, we do see the swap Perhaps. to Tracer, as I said, but will it be enough as they have to get out quickly? Zero does get the cart, but it's not going to be enough to ho hold them for a minute. Ambrose does get 2.3, but at basically a minute in WCU's case, having to hold them for three, get them down at two, I'd say that's a very big win for yep, WCU. Held them three minutes there on that last point. We saw something similar last night when WCU Slate held NAU gold on this point for almost four minutes on that final corner. We'll see if WCU Crimson can answer the attack of St. Ambrose. I think I think we'll probably see more of the same as far as comps go. Yeah, probably. We'll see if we see the double widow again. That was an interesting pick. Right. We do see the widow oh, come wow. out for St. Ambrose, but we are favoring a dive here into this, which is not a bad option with Cafe being that open. I really but, do like the dive here, considering with um, Ambrose's backline being pretty diveable so right. far. Right, and they have. And they have no shield, so hopefully this fight will, this first engage will go better than it went with WCU Slate last night. They are actually going for oh. the full spawn hold, actually, right out the gate. Which, I do not think Five, WCU four, is expecting three, this. Two, one. As they're just ready to go here. And we do see it immediately. Forcing them back to the spawn, separating out the Winston from the rest of the team. They do find Zero very quickly with a Widow snipe. And it does look like they find Megusok as well with the Widow. They do, they are and forced Nona back. Is retreating into spawn, probably swapping. No, he's just getting healed. He just wants the heal. Yeah, that's totally I don't blame here. him. <laughs> uh, we do see him backing off again. Trying to get a full regroup here. We see the switch to a Reaper. Reaper Widow, but will it be enough to stop the spawn hold as Megusaka is just being forced out of this point? Ah, uh, he is fighting Zen. Sorry, I'm Sorry really though, going down. but she does get the ball out in time and finds Megusaka, as well as the Widow finding Winston and Goose finds Yemo Field. 
But Heinz does, Heinz and Sewer find the Widow and the Lucio. And this, trying to be optimistic here, but this spawn hold is very hurtful to WCU here as they're not being even able to get out of spawn. And you see go for that Medu Widow going for the Widow. Oh, they know. But they know, and he's retreating. He might go for a cart push here, though. Ooh, trying to get a little down. bit of distance. But the Zarya is right back on top of him, ready to go. And he doesn't even get behind a wall. Gets him we do see Nona switching over to a Zarya right now. He's still over on that right side, holding his spawn. And we do see that grab coming out. And there's no ammo, which leads to Nona and Goose both going down in this fight. Megusaka is trying to still pursue the Widow just to get her out, but the Widow still knows that that is up there. But Megusaka... Ooh, Megusaka wait, nearly... It is a fight here. Megusaka gets out, gets the health back, and is reset, ready to go right back to the Widow, but the Widow is almost fully healed again. And we're going for a melee fight here. He does find the he Widow, which that could pick. be helpful, but... Let's see if the rest of the team can get out of their spawn as Nona got does stuck find Nona ball. right again. Are trying to get this sojourn over here. Yeah. We honestly might see just a nano Zarya here just to try and get out of this point. They are nearly going down. Lots so far have only pushed the cart five years. And they have already lost three minutes of their time here. So this. Being optimistic. Yeah, desperately trying to heal his team. We might see the... We don't see the Nano, but we do see Megasaka come out with an EMP. We're holding on to Nano, something I wasn't expecting with Zarya going down that low. Are we going to see a swap from Majarshi here, maybe? No. No. He is staying on the honor. He's back in the spawn to the team. Megasaka is very quickly found by the Sojourn. Taking out Nona goes to cart. There's grab on both sides. They hit Going grab on the Jarshan, who still has not popped Nano. And they see a bat save saving Swaggy Fish as well as Ezra Rose. Nona does find the kill though. And this might be a decent push now for WCU. As the only factor in this fight currently is Widow. Pretty sure that entire fight, Megasaka was 1v1ing that Widow sure. in the back line. Well, he is still going for that Widow. He's still, he wants He holds to. that grudge on that Widow like I held it last night in our game against NAU. He wants, he that, wants that Widow that. out of the game. We are in OT here though. So one big stop for St. Ambrose and WCU goes home again 0-3. But... If they get this point, that's another two and a half minutes added to the time that can be used. Ooh! And we do see Zero shot. finding the Widow, and it does look like we will get point, because I'm assuming Zero's going to launch Dragons right up this road. She didn't even launch Dragons, and we get point. Oh, another. there's a contest. Never mind. I'm getting too hyped early. Just clicking heads on everyone. Yep. It's just Sojourn here trying to hold. We do get point because of that retreat. Quick retreat. Good. Good. So there's two and a half minutes left. Nona at the far spawn. Yeah. Yep. Known is trying to speed his way back to that far spawn, but everyone is also at the far spawn. So it might be just good to do a full reset here. Yep. Full reset here for the team. Yep. Zero and Nona though going in, trying to get that extra distance on a push by himself. This might be interesting. Sure, <coughs> just eating into Nona's charge right now. But the same can be said for Nona as he's just standing there taking the blast into Sewer. We will see Grav on both sides again. We'll look for a Grav Dragon here. We do see the Dragon come Grab out. Come it out. will Dragon. bind only two. And it's big though. That's but big. we do get four kills out of it with the Tracer being the only one left. That was both of their kills. Right? Yeah. And big. Tracer is found, so that is a team kill in favor of WCU and this this could lead to something here as they're getting a lot of push 
Megasaka going in that back line again, trying to get a very early pick on the Tracer, but it does not look like it will play out as he has to very quickly retreat. Again, it's going to be a fight right here on, on the second one of the map. Trying to get it here, we do see a hack come out for Sewer. They do see beat, and we see another beat on the side of St. Ambrose as they are trying to hold this here and just hold them right here. They do find the Lucio, and they do find Nona, who also finds Magusaka. So it's going to be a race against the clock here as Zero and Majarshan are trying to get out. It does not look like Zero will get out, and Majarshan will also be heavy staggered. This is final fight territory here, and we're going into it with uh, only Nano, and they have Pulse Bomb, so... A well-placed Nano could potentially get us this point. Could, but we need to make sure we actually hit the Nano target we're looking for, as we want to be looking at Nona or Zero here for that very quick damage. There you see you coming up from the stairs. Trying to get in, trying to get those picks very early. We see the Nano on the Zarya. Finding the ammo field as well, which could lead to Bap going down and finding point. That nearly goes down, but uh, Nona's taking space right now, yeah. so they're still able to push this. Let's say, if Zarya goes down here, this might be a good point for WCU, but it is a 4v1, and that was... Oh, nope. We do get a touch. I'm sorry. We do see the team. Yeah. Still. And but now this looks like it will be a 0-3 for the side of St. Ambrose, uh, which will put St. Ambrose in their division up 3-0 and 9-0 in maps. A big accomplishment for any team. We do see Nona coming out with play of the game here, though. Nona with the play of the game? That was definitely a very big, very big grab. Yep. Find the three. And he does find the Zarya. Either way, both teams fought very hard. They fought both well, yep. and I'm hoping to see a lot more from our team. And with this game, this does put WCU Crimson at the bottom of their bracket, 0-3 with an 0-9 map differential. But, and as the same with WCU Slate and WCU Crimson, there are still six matches left in this, uh, whatever you want to call this, this shortened season as we are playing double headers that there is a strong chance for a big comeback here, allowing both teams to possibly make playoffs still. For sure, for sure. Well, until next time, see y'all later.